In this module, I will discuss, Primavera P6, Getting Started. Here, we will cover, Getting Started, with Primavera, File Creation Process, Screen Display Icons, and, Drop-Down Menu Details. In your desktop, you will find, this icon, for Primavera P6. So click on this, and, Primavera will open. When you open the Primavera P6, your screen will look like this. Again, it's a project planning software and it's a complicated like MS project. So I am going to explain you one by one all the items in this screen and hopefully you will understand that. So in the first look, your screen is divided into three main sections. First section is this, where you can see all the projects of your of your organization it is called enterprise in this enterprise this is by default setting by primavera and you will see engineering and construction energy services manufacturing product development corporate program and so on so this is a complete list of types of project that an enterprise runs so that's covered by primavera it's a default setting and whenever you want to develop your own program you just select a new project click here open the project or you can add a new project i will explain you when we go to that stage and you can add your project if you are handling engineering and construction sector or energy services or manufacturing it all depends what sector you're working and you can select a new project so that's all your tabular format of your enterprise so here you have a project engineering and construction and within engineering and construction you have separate projects and you can create your own when you select one of the project on the right side you can see this is your Gantt chart so that Gantt chart will explain you all the task and subtask of your project so if I open one of these project right click on that and you will see now you have a project which is this project you have opened that so these are the activities of this building project and if you select one of them you can see the Gantt chart view of all these activity. I'm going to explain you when I develop a, a, a project as a sample project and explain you how you provide all those things. On the bottom side you can see again a, a tabular a, a drop down menu formats and here all these activities are shown. So if you select a project you can see if you select a task you can see the WBS breakdown you can see the status you can see the resources predecessors successors so those are the details of an individual activity you can see here so this is your full project detail so when I selected this one this is your project detail when I select one of the project and go into individual activities of that you can see it here GAN chart view you can see it here and individual details of one activity or the task you can see here so these are the roles of these three windows now if I go on to the top you have a standard file menu edit view project enterprise tool admin and help so let me give you a very quick overview of that so if I click on file you can create a new project you can open any existing project you can close that you can set up your page for prints you can print that you can print preview import anything out from outside and you uh, export anything from here as a PDF or any other version and so on if I go to edit you can do undo you can cut copy the standard practices shown here if I go to view the layout is very important if you are working in a project and you want to set up your layout that you are going to use all the time you can create your own layout and save here and there are many ways I will explain you later and these are your bars columns time scale so these things will you will get to know once I explain using that in a project if I go to project you can select the activities your resources work breakdown structure baseline maintenance baseline expenses so all those things you can take it from here and enterprise will tell you all the projects within the enterprise and again same details and this is the tool where you can do 
various other things we will explain that once we go to that level and this is your admin panel here you can add your team members you can change the currency and so on and so forth if i go to left side you can see these small icons these are exactly same you create a new project you can open an existing project you can close the projects you can open the project from here you can assign your resources so all those are small icons you can directly select this is your wbs so you can select all those things from here on the right side also you have those icons and these are going to be used when you want to create something within your tabular format so if you click here you can add any activity any task subtask you can delete that you can cut that you can copy that and you can paste that and you can add your resources all of those task which you want to operate within your project you can do it from here so this is a very quick overview of the screen when you open that although there are a lot of things in that and it seems very complicated but when i start explaining that you will understand all these activity and how to create a new program very easily i hope you have enjoyed this module in next module, we will discuss details of EPS, Enterprise Project Systems. We will create a new EPS category for a new civil engineering project. Please read the disclaimer for your information. Thank you.